Have you ever felt a subtle shift in the fabric of your existence, as if a gentle breeze carried whispers of a higher realm in the intricate dance of energies that weave through the universe? There are moments when we resonate with frequencies that elevate our consciousness. These energies operate at different frequencies, and at times we find ourselves resonating with higher vibrations that elevate our consciousness. Recognizing these moments is similar to catching a glimpse of the sublime, a subtle, yet profound shift in our being. So how do you know if you are vibrating on a higher frequency? Let's explore seven signs that are indicative of such an elevation. One lightness picture. A feather gently floating in the breeze, weightless, effortless, and unburdened. When you find a sense of lightness permeating your life, it's a clear sign that you are vibrating on a higher frequency. This lightness isn't just physical, it extends to your emotions and thoughts. You may discover a newfound ability to release heavy baggage, whether it be grudges, regrets, or unnecessary. Rye worries the burdens that once weighed you down seem to dissipate, allowing you to navigate life with grace and ease this lightness is not about escaping challenges, but embracing them with a heart unburdened by the weight of negativity. Your laughter becomes contagious, and your spirit radiates joy, attracting positive energies like a magnet. It's a beautiful dance with the universe, where you become an instrument of harmony, resonating with the higher frequencies of love and joy in the realm of ancient wisdom and profound simplicity. Teism emerges as a P, philosophy and spiritual tradition that aligns with this. Likeness of being Taoism, often pronounced as Taoism, finds its roots in ancient China and draws its essence from the Tou, which can be loose translated as the way or the path. The origins of Taoism are intertwined with the legendary figure Laozi, whose name means Old Master Laozi, is believed to have been a wise and contemplative figure living around the 6th century BCE, a time marked by political turbulence and societal unrest in China. Legend has it that disenchanted with the corruption of the ruling sea, Las Laozi decided to leave civilization behind and embark on a journey to seek a deeper understanding of the nature of existence as Laozi approached the western border of China. He encountered a border guard named Yinshi, recognizing the wisdom in Lai's words. Yinshi implored him to share his insights before departing in response. Laozi composed the T.A. Ching, a foundational text of Taoism. This ancient scripture comprised of 81 verses encapsulates the essence of taste philosophy and offers guidance on how to live in harmony with the TOA Taoism at its co. Re is about aligning with the natural flow of the universe much like a river, effortlessly. Meandering through its course, it emphasizes the importance of simplicity, spontaneity, and living in accordance with the Tao. The Tao is formless beyond conceptualization, and yet it is the source of all things. It is the way of nature. The underlying principle, Lu, that governs the E and flow of existence. The concept of Woe, often translated as non action or effortless action, is central to taste philosophy. It encourages individuals to act in a way that is natural. Without unnecessary effort or resistance, this doesn't imply a passive approach to life, but rather a harmonious engagement with the inherent rhythms of existence. 2. Alignment with Purpose A life aligned with purpose is like, like a ship sailing smoothly on the ocean of existence. When you are vibrating on a higher frequency, you feel a deep connection to your purpose, that unique reason for your existence. You find yourself drawn to activities that fuel your soul and your daily actions align effortlessly with your long-term goals. Discovering your purpose it isn't always a grand revelation. It can unfold gradually. Like the petals of a flower opening to the sun, you may notice a growing sense of fulfillment and passion in what you do. A magnetic pull toward activities that bring you joy and make a positive impact on the world. This alignment with purpose becomes a guiding force steering you through life's twists and turns with clarity and determination. Delving deeper into purposeful living involves understanding that purpose is not a fixed destination, but a dynamic journey. It's about consistently asking yours.
Elf, what brings meaning to your life and adjusting your sales accordingly? This doesn't necessarily mean making drastic changes. Sometimes it's the small intentional choices that lead to a purposeful existence. Living purposefully also involves being present in the moment when you're fully engaged in what you're doing. Whether it's a simple task or a complex project, you tap into a sense of flow. This state of flow is where time seems to stand and still, and you're completely absorbed in the activity at hand. Purposeful living isn't just about chasing future. Goals, it's about finding joy and significance. In the everyday moments, moreover, purposeful living extends. Beyond personal fulfillment, it encompasses contributing positively to the world around you. When your actions align with your purpose, you naturally become a source of inspiration and motivation for others. Your enthusiasm, M and dedication become contagious, creating a ripple effect that extends far beyond your immediate sphere. Another aspect of purposeful living is recognizing that setbacks and challenges are part of the journey. Life is not always smooth sailing and purposeful individuals. Understand that obstacles are opportunities for growth. Instead of being deterred by difficulties, they view them as chances to learn, adapt, and become stronger. Three increased self-awareness. Imagine looking into a mirror and seeing not just your reflection, but the depths of your soul when you are vibrating on a higher frequency. Self-awareness becomes a profound journey of self-discovery. You develop a keen understanding of your thoughts, emotions, and reactions, allowing you to navigate the intricate landscapes of your inner world. This heightened. Self-awareness isn't about self-judgment, but self-acceptance. You embrace both your, your strengths and weaknesses, recognizing that they are integral parts of your unique journey. This introspective journey owes you to break free from limiting beliefs, heal old wounds, and cultivate a deep sense of authenticity. As you peel away the layers of conditioning, you unveil the true essence of your being, shining with the light of self-love in the realm of philosophy. The concept of increased self-awareness fee. NDS resonance with the teachings of Socrates and ancient Greek. Philosopher known for his emphasis on self-examination, Socrates, often considered the father of Western philosophy, believed in the transformative power of questioning and self-reflection. According to Socrates, an unexamined life is not worth living. He proposed that individuals should engage in a continuous dialogue with themselves, questioning their beliefs, values, and actions. In a way, this mirrors the idea of looking into the metaphorical mirror of one's soul Socratic self-awareness, involves an o ang owing process of inquiry much like peeling. Away layers of assumptions to discover the core truths within Socrates, however, wasn't about harsh self-judgment either. Instead, he encouraged a gentle and honest examination of oneself. The goal was not to condemn, but to understand by acknowledging both strengths and weaknesses. Individuals could embark on a journey of self-acceptance, fostering a profound connection with their true nature. In this Socratic framework, the emphasis is on breaking free from societal conditioning and questioning the nar. Additives imposed by external influences the philosopher Believe that genuine wisdom emerges from an authentic understanding of oneself by acknowledging and embracing one's unique qualities. Individuals could cultivate a sense of authenticity, much like the modern idea of shining with the light of self-love for Socrates. The process of increased self-awareness wasn't merely an intellectual exercise, but a path to living a more meaningful and purposeful life. By understanding oneself, individuals could align their actions with their true values contributing to a harmonious and virtuous existence in this way. The ancient philosophy of Socrates provides a timeless perspective on the transformative power of self-awareness, guiding individuals towards a more profound connection with their inner selves. 4. Heightened Intuition Have you ever felt a subtle nudge and inner whisper guiding you in the right direction? This is the language of intuition, a powerful alley on the path of higher vibrations. When you are attuned to a higher frequency, your intuition becomes a reliable compass, offering insights. B. 
Eon, the realm of logic intuition, is not a mysterious force reserved for a chosen few. It is an inherent aspect of your being waiting to be acknowledged as you vibrate on a higher frequency. You become more attuned to the subtle energies that guide your decisions. Trusting your intuition becomes second nature, leading you toward choices that resonate with your soul's journey. Dharma, often described as one's righteous duty or moral path, plays a crucial role in this journey of heightened intuition. Imagine Dharma as the roadmap that aligns your actions with the greater harmony of the universe. It's not a set of rigid rules, but rather a gentle guide that helps you navigate the complexities of life. As you embrace your Dharma, you begin to live in accordance with your true nature. This alignment opens the channels for intuitive messages to flow freely. Think of Dharma as a tuning fork that vibrates in harmony with the universal energy, allowing you to pick up on the subtle signal that guide you toward positive choices. Living in harmony with Dharma doesn't mean leading a monotonous or restrictive. Life, on the contrary, it liberates you from the shackles of confusion and indecision. It provides a clear framework that allows your intuition to flourish. When faced with choices, you may find that the right path feels like a natural extension of your being, resonating with a deep sense of purpose. Dharma, in essence, is the gentle reminder that each of us has a unique role to play in the grand fabric of existence, just as every note in a beautiful melody contributes to the overall harmony. Your actions, when in sync with your dharma, contribute to the greater goo. Do this awareness heightens your intuition by attuning you to the underlying order of the universe? 5. Increased Empathy and Compassion Imagine a world where hearts open like flowers, radiating love, love and understanding. When you are vibrating on a higher frequency empathy, and compassion flow naturally from your being, you develop a profound sensitivity to the emotions of others, recognizing the interconnectedness of all living things. This heightened empathy is not just a fleeting emotion, but a transformative force that shapes your interacti, ons with the world you find joy in extending kindness and compassion. Understanding that in lifting others you elevate yourself, acts of empathy become a ripple in the collective consciousness creating a wave of positive change that transcends individual boundaries in the context of Christianity and the Bible. The concept of increased empathy and compassion aligns with the teachings of Jesus Christ. The Bible emphasizes the importance of love-kindness and understanding in various passages. One of the central tenets of Christianity is the command commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself, Mark 12:31. This simple yet powerful directive encourages believers to extend empathy and compassion to those around them. The Bible also recounts numerous instances where Jesus demonstrated empathy and compassion in his interactions with people. Stories of him. Healing the sick, comforting the downtrodden, and showing kindness to sinners resonate with the idea of a compassionate and empathetic approach to others in the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus teaches, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive myrrh. See I Matthew 57, reinforcing the reciprocal nature of empathy and compassion. Furthermore, the Bible teaches that believers should emulate the qualities of Jesus, who is often described as the embodiment of love and compassion. The Apostle Paul, in his letters to various Christian communities, emphasizes the importance of virtue, such as kindness, humility, and patience. Colossians 3.12. These qualities contribute to fostering a spirit of empathy and compassion in individual believers and consequently in the broader Christian community. The parable of the Go, Odd Samaritan is one of the well-known stories that Jesus shared to convey important lessons about compassion and kindness. This parable is found in the Gospel of Luke, specifically in Luke 10.25. The story begins with a legal expert testing Jesus by asking him, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life in response? Jesus turns the question back to the expert, asking him what is written in the law. The expert correctly answers by citing the commandments to love God and love one's neighbor, seeking to justify himself the expert, then asks Jesus a, And who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus tells the the, Parable of the Good Samaritan. 
The story unfolds with a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho who falls victim to robbers. They beat him, strip him of his clothes, and leave him half dead by the side of the road. As the wounded man lay there, a priest passes by but avoids helping him, subsequently a Levite. Another person associated with religious duties also passes without offering assistance. Surprisingly, it is a Samaritan, someone culturally and religiously different from the wounded man who stops to help the Samaritan tends to the man's wounds puts. Him on his own donkey takes him to an inn and cares for him. The significance of this parable lies in the unexpected kindness shown by the Samaritan, someone whom the wounded man's cultural and religious community might have considered an outsider or even an enemy. Jesus uses this story to illustrate that being a neighbor is not limited by cultural or religious boundaries, rather it is defined by acts of compassion and love. Six inner peace amidst chaos in the midst of life storms. There exists a sere, knee center that remains untouched by chaos when you are vibrating on a higher frequency. You discover the ability to access this inner sanctuary, a space of profound peace that transcends external circumstances. This inner peace is not a result of avoiding challenges, but a product of embracing them with a calm and sent mind. You become a witness to the ebb and flow of life navigating challenges with grace and resilience. The external world may be turbulent, but within you, cultivate a stillness that becomes an anchor, grounding you in the present moment. Medi. Tation serves as the key to unlock this inner sanctuary, allowing you to tap into the wellspring of peace that resides within it, is not about sitting cross-legged on mountain peaks, but finding a quiet corner. Maybe even your living room where you can pause and breathe. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let the weight of the world slip away as you settle into a comfortable position. The magic begins. Meditation is not about stopping your thoughts, but about observing them without judgment. Imagine your thoughts as passing clouds and you, the silent sky W. Itnessing their movement in these moments you detach from, the hustle of bustle of the external world creating a buffer between you and the chaos, focus on your breath. The simple act of inhaling and exhaling, feel the air filling your lungs, and then releasing it in this rhythmic dance of breath, you create a bridge between the outer chaos and your inner serenity thoughts may come and go like waves brushing the shore but you remain anchored in the stillness of your breath. Meditation is a practice, not a destination. The more you engage in it, the more profound. Its effects become, it's a journey within a return to your authentic self amidst the noise of the world. Regular practice gradually transforms your perception, helping you see challenges, not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. 7. Transcendence of Fear Fear is a shadow that often looms over the human experience, limiting our potential and hindering our growth. When you're vibrating on a higher frequency, you experience a profound shift in your relationship with fear. It's not that fear disappears, rather. You learn to dance with it to transcend. Its paralyzing grip, this transcendence of fear, is rooted. In a deep trust in the unfolding of life, you recognize that challenges are opportunities for growth and failure is a stepping stone toward success. The fear of the unknown transforms into a sense of adventure, and you navigate uncharted territories with courage and faith in understanding this transformative journey. The parable of the emperor's ring holds valuable insights. Imagine an emperor who possesses a ring with a special power. It can make a happy person. Sad and a sad person, happy, the emperor. Intrigued by this extraordinary ability, seeks out wise advisors to understand the secret behind the ring's power. One advisor, a sage, explains this too, shall pass. The sage points out that the ring's inscription holds the key to understanding its magic in moments of joy. The reminder that the happiness is fleeting prevents arrogance or complacency. Conversely, in times of sorrow, the assurance that the pain is temporary offers solace and hope. This simple yet profound wisdom from the parable reflects the essence of transcending fear it teaches us to him.
Brace change acknowledging that fear, like happiness or sorrow, is transient by understanding the impermanence of our emotions and circumstances, we gain the strength to face challenges. Head in the Emperor's Ring reminds us that fear often stems from attachment attachment to the desire for constant happiness or the aversion to inevitable difficulties when we release this tight grip on our expectations and accept life's EB and flow fear loses its power to dominate our thoughts and actions. Transcending fear, as illustrated by the parable, involves recognizing the cyclical nature of life's experiences just as the emperor's emotions fluctuate with the magic of the ring, our own emotional states are in constant flux. This realization invites a sense of equinity, an ability to remain balanced amidst life's ups and downs. In conclusion, the signs of vibrating on a higher frequency are subtle yet transformative as you cult cultivate lightness, align with your purpose, deepen self-awareness, embrace intuition, embody empathy and compassion. Find inner peace and transcend fear. You become a beacon of higher vibrati. Ons in the world, this journey is not about reaching a destination, but about savoring the moments of elevation, recognizing the beauty and the dance of energies that connect us all. May your journey be filled with light purpose and the profound wisdom that comes with vibration rating on a higher frequency.